What's up, Libra God? This is a daily reading um, for your business, for the sign of Libra. So this is for a Libra who's in business or who has an idea that you would like to bring success to or that you would like grow. And this is basically spiritual guidance leading you to the growth and success of your business. My name is Ashley Gilliard. I am a clairvoyant medium. I don't like labels. But, so I have medium abilities. I have tarot abilities. I have spiritual connection. And I use my gift and my talent to help people succeed in life and business and career and money and finance and whatever area they desire. I desire for you to have more lights and more life. And I use my gifts to help you get there. The overall energy of this reading is for a Libra who has been in a tough cycle in your business or in your life, um, again, take it as it resonates. It is a general reading, so it could resonate with several areas of your life. Like my nails, they're so pretty. Mermaid nails. Anyway, so the overall energy of the reading, the end of a tough cycle approaches, and I love that a new start is coming was right under that. Queen of Wands, acceptance. Yes, and then right under it is, is the Joy card. A new start is coming in a Seven of Cups meeting. This hardship is not what it seems. You're on the cusp of a new beginning. So with the acceptance, the Queen of Wands, and the end of cycle, the end of a tough cycle is approaching. This is basically saying, yes, you've been through a lot in, your, in life and your business, and maybe things aren't, um, maybe things haven't manifested the way that you wanted it to manifest or it's slowly manifesting, but the end of this tough cycle approaches and a new start is coming for you. If you put your energy, if you put your energy um, and your Queen of Wands energy into your gifts. So Queen of Wands is contagious energy, attractive. Things are drawn to the Queen of Wands. And that will be you if you put your effort and your energy into your gifts. So what gifts do you have? Accept those and use those to manifest greatness, to manifest a new beginning and a better time in your business. So if this, you see, she's basically, her gift is cooking, baking. Your gift could be spirituality tarot. Your gift could be um, singing, dancing, Whatever your gift is, use that to enter to use that to overcome this tough cycles and, and enter new beginnings for your business and ultimately your life. First set you have is the answers you need are coming, full moon and Gemini, quest, and five of pentacles. Come on, we can do it. <laughs> Forget it, I'll just do these two and then you'll see. Okay. The answers you need are coming. Quest, Five of Pentacles. So this further explains that you've been in a tough cycle in your business. And, um, but Spirit is saying this is a part of your journey and it's leading you to where you need to be. But more is to come. The answers you need are coming. This is not the end. Again, the answers you need are coming. This is a part of your journey. And it is the end of this poverty or this lack mindset or this physical lack you know we don't always step into business and immediately prosper there there's a journey there's a process there's a process to winning in business some people are blessed where they enter a business opportunity and it takes off but a, a lot more people have to go through the process and Libra guy you went through that process and the answers you need are coming and, and better times are coming so it's the end of this, you know, black, this period of black in your business. Next combination you have is confidence is your key to success, new moon and Leo, complacency, and the seven of swords. Spirit is saying, remain confident that by using your gifts and putting the energy into your gifts that you will get Whatever it is that you desire out, um, out of it, you will get the new start. The end of the tough cycle will approach for you if you put the energy into your um, gifts. That will require you to get out of this state of complacency. Whatever it, you know, um, complacency is the opposition because it keeps you from moving forward in your business. It keeps you from moving forward in life to better times. Sometimes we get complacent and we get comfortable in our situations, but spirit has so much more for us. And spirit is saying there is so much more in store for you. Just remain confident, remain confident that it's coming, you know, uh, 
do your affirmations. So if you have affirmations, increases flowing to me right now, whatever it is, do your daily affirmations and, and nightly affirmations. Know that when you put the energy into your gifts, the spirit is working alongside of you and better times are coming. You have to remain confident. You have to trust in the universe and trust in spirit and trust in yourself and trust in your gifts, knowing that it's leading you to more light, more life, better business and better times. But you have to get out of this state of complacency in order to get there and focus on what's important. If you don't focus on what's important, then you find yourself remaining complacent in a situation and you never grow. But once you get out of that stagnancy and that, you know, and complacency and, um, and you start to focus on what's important, which is your gifts, and putting the energy into your gifts and growth, you'll get exactly what you want out of your business. You'll get divine blessings. You'll get you'll be blessed in abundantly. But remain confident that it's coming. Remain confident that better times are coming. That's what this video is for. This is what this reading is for. It's for spirits to inspire you and let you know that, hey, the end of the there is a tough cycle that you're going through right now, but the end is approaching. So continuously work on your gifts and put your energy energy in your gifts, and we're gonna use that to bless you. So remain confident, knowing that what you're doing right now, working on your gifts and putting the energy in your gifts, is going to be blessed abundantly. You have a fiery climax approaches, full moon and Aries. You have the gratitude and you have the hermit. These two are basically saying you are stepping into, you're being grateful for what you have. You're grateful for your gifts and you're using them. You're stepping into self-mastery and self-discovery by mastering your craft, mastering your gifts, and being one with yourself. And because of that, a fiery climax approaches. So what does that mean in your business? That means you were here, but you're about to go here. You know, if you look at the product service life cycle or the product life cycle, it's, it's going this way and then it goes up when you reach um, high levels, when you start to go up, when you start to expand and do better in business. And then, you know, it goes down or, it, you know, it's tumultuous. But you are about to go up. That's where you go if you focus on your gifts. If you remain grateful and use your gifts, follow the light. You know, the light, the hermit is the light leading you to self-mastery and self-discovery. And the gratitude card is attuning to you self-mastering yourself and your gifts, being grateful for them and using them to advance light and light, you know, to advance light in your life and the light of others. Again, in doing so creates abundance for you. So whatever is happening in your business, in your life right now, don't let it distract you. Focus on what's important with the seven of swords. Don't let these other two swords distract you or don't let complacency keep you from advancing in your business because you're very near to the end of a tough cycle and you are the key to get out of this tough cycle you are the key with the queen of wands and the acceptance you and your gift is the key to success you and your gift is going to bring you joy oh lord and guess what was right under there you this is so dope joy growth, abundance. What's the key to joy, growth, and abundance? You putting the energy into your gifts. Accept your gifts. This is somebody who knows who, this is for someone who knows who that what their gift is. If you don't know what your gift is, you haven't reached the end of the tough cycle yet. You might just be beginning. But it's okay because it's all leading you to abundance and joy and growth. But this is for someone you know what your gift is. It's time for you to use your gift, Libra God, and it's time for you to grow. Put the energy into your gifts so that you can be the reason why the end of this tough cycle approaches and you can be the reason why your business goes up. It's only up from here. Oh, my nails so pretty today. It's only up from here. You're, you're the key. You and your gift is the key to the end of this tough cycle. It would behoove you to use it. I hope this helps. I wish you more light. I wish you more life. And I wish you success and abundance in your business. If I can be of any more assistance with my Master Manifesto coaching program, with business readings, regular readings, um, Master Manifesto toolkit, however I can help you, click the link in my bio. I have a, the book, The Power of I Am, leading you to your inner power and gifts and understanding of spiritual knowledge and growth and awakening your third eye. I have the spiritual pathways to success, which is 
what I went through and read and wrote at the beginning of my spiritual journey leading me to this place now. I have the personification of beauty, helping women to attune to, again, their higher selves as well and um, overcome obstacles along the way. And I have the business strategy journal. I I recommend the hard copy on Amazon, but, you know, the ebook is available for you as well if you just need the information. Again, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate you. More life and more light. Peace. I've manifested full payment of all 106,000 of my student loans. I only pay like $60 out of $106,000. I've manifested $30,000 twice. I've manifested connection to my divine partner. I've manifested the activation of my third eye and spiritual gifts. I've manifested the concept of all four of my books way before they created so many things I manifested and now I'm manifesting you. I'd like to teach you the manifestation process. I know the what behind manifestation, what's required, the process. I know how it's done. I know why it's done. I also know things that can hinder your manifestation process and I'd like to teach you. So click the link below today and start manifesting the desires of your heart tomorrow. This would die for love.